Okay, today Walter is steaming a scorpion. A scorpion that I scored recently, it turned up today. I've had it for bits. More photos to follow this. Um, took some dints out of the boiler. Took the smiley face off his top. Um, you'll see the only thread I could find to fit the whistle was a Willesco. That's a metric thread in what I think is an English thread, but anyhow, it seems to work. So, this old oil can here, I think, has been made into a burner, sort of seems to work. There we are. We'll give that a wee while, I've had it hot. Right, yeah, we'll come back to that. I think I can. He's got his little homemade piston, which is a bit of uh, chrome brass tube like a wireless aerial on a piss on a on a wooden stake rod. Anyhow I'll, I'll get around to making the proper thing for that sometime. Nearly but not quite. H half of the trouble is the burner is too close to the <coughs> see we're not we're not really got the hot part of the fire hidden the boilerplate there anyhow all these things are what make it what it is um, got rid of that big smiley face on the top of the boiler got rid of some dints in the boiler I don't like to polish them up too much There we go. She's away. But with that burner, I wouldn't say it was the most powerful thing I've ever seen. However, it's going, which is what we strive for. Dan't blow the whistle. So sorry, Clinton, you'll have to miss out. But a Willesco whistle is nothing to listen to, really, anyhow. Piece of pipe I found in the scrap bin. I left the patina on that. That's great, isn't it? Just the trick. Um, you would have seen that the base was on back to front. I turned it around and filled the little scorpion lettering in a bit, to the best of my ability. Anyhow, don't want to bore you all night. There you go. Thanks for watching.